Hello everybody, my name is Sasha Novak. Welcome to my channel. I am starting to work on a new album and I decided to record a tutorial for you guys. So this video will be part one of the tutorial where I will show you the materials I will be using for this album and I am planning to post the rest of the tutorial um, each Monday. So I will be working with one of uh, Prima's memory hardware albums this time. It will be a journaling magnetic album by Frank Garcia and uh, I will show it to you later during this video. It's a fun mini album so I hope you will find this tutorial easy to follow. Uh, as you already guessed by looking at the paper pad, I have here in front of me, I will be making a Halloween album and I will be using the latest Twilight collection by Prima, well the majority of it and uh, I will mix it up a little with last year's Luna collection. In my last video I showed this collection in detail so I'm not going to go over each sheet in details again but let's just quickly uh, look over it because we are going to um, work with Luna as well and I want to show you that these two collections can be mixed together pretty well. Twilight and Luna are somewhat similar in color, color palette but um, Twilight is more on a vintage side of it. So the first sheet is actually a leftover sheet from the project I recently done for Frank Garcia Studio. Um, let me just quickly show it here because I haven't posted it anywhere yet. Um, I made a round canvas with a moon uh, made of beautiful prima flowers. That is how the canvas looks. So the rest of this sheet I will probably use for fussy cutting the elements out. And next I have a few more leftovers. But let's just quickly take a look through the rest of them and um, I'll get back to you when we're done. have some Halloween vintage chippies. I use some of them on my canvas and I might use uh, some of the elements in the album as well. Next we're gonna quickly take a look at Luna collection but first let me just show you how these two collections can be combined well together. So here is a beautiful pink sheet with spider webs around the corners from Luna. Um, we also have a similar sheet in Twilight collection, but the webs are on the entire print. But just look how the pink color matches between Luna and Twilight. There's a little bit of a difference. Twilight has a more dusty pink than Luna, and it has more of the vintage elements, but I still think these should work well together. Also, these shades of black and orange match very well with the Twilight collection. 
Look at these fun little tags. Those look very pretty. Um, it seems to me that there is um, more sheets in Luna pad than in Twilight. I noticed that the first time I looked at the Twilight and Christmas market. So let me just double check. So look, Luna has 26 sheets and you get 8 designs, 3 sheets of each design, plus you get a bonus sheet for fussy cutting. Twilight, let me just find the title sheet really quick. Um, here it is. So um, Twilight only has 12 sheets, so that is twice as less than Luna had if we don't count the bonus sheets. There's only six designs, so um, if you're looking at the value of both pads, Luna has definitely more papers and designs. two acetate sheets. One is from Luna Collection with Luna Cats and the other one from Twilight with spider webs and spiders. This one also has foiling. Next we're gonna take a look at the ephemera and embellishments that I've gathered so far. I pretty much gathered everything that I've had in stock from both of the collections and placed it in this little container. So let's take a look at um, what I have here. First I have some ephemera packs. This one is from Luna and it has two packs combined. It also has some uh, pieces that I have fussy cut last year. I don't know but um, these ephemera packs always appear on the sides for me and something always falls out. Is that happening to you as well or is it just me and my clumsy hands? Next I have um, two ephemera packs from the Twilight collection. I might only use a few of all those pieces. Most of these pieces are too large for this album but it's just nice to have everything in front of me. Here I have this little witch sitting on a broom. I have cut her out from one of the leftover 12 by 12 sheets and I'm planning to use her on the cover of my album. Um, next, I have two packs of shaker elements. I like that these two are different. Luna has a confetti pack with fun elements that can be added to shakers and Twilight has these beautiful pearl accents that can also be added to shakers. Um, next I have one pack from Sait and Crystals. This one is from Twilight Collection. And um, here I've got cropped photo corners that I've bought on Alley. This should work well with this album. Um, next I've got three packs of puffy stickers. 
one from Luna and two from Twilight collections. These are smaller elements and these should work well in the album. And lastly, I've got two sets of chipboard stickers in this container, one for each collection. Okay, we are done with this container and I have a few more things to show you here. It may seem like a lot of things for one small album. Of course, you don't need that many things, but I will be making a few more projects with these materials for my design team. That's why I like to have everything prepped ahead of time. Okay, here I've got a Twilight tag pad. These should be very handy for my journaling album. Next, I have three packs of charms. The one with spiders is Twilight. Pumpkins as Luna collection and they are one of my favorites and last one is a pack of antique trinkets I also pulled out a few other vintage charms that may work well with this album Next I pulled out a few packs of Prima flowers uh, These are a mix of leftovers from Twilight and Luna collections I'm not planning to use a whole lot of flowers in this album most likely I will use them on the cover only I have also placed this oval frame here. I will not use it in this album, but I might use it on my next album. I want to make a pumpkin shaped album, so this frame might fit in very nicely there. Here I have some mixed media items. These two are actually, uh, I got those at Target last year. I'm not sure if these confetti ones will work uh, color wise, but I can definitely find a spot for them brooms and I've got some more of the embossing powders here. Down at the bottom left I pulled out this beautiful card from one of the Twilight ephemera packs. I am also planning to use this one on the cover of the album and I also want to make it a shaker. Down in the middle here I've got some um, epoxy elements that I've casted using Prima molds. Uh, mostly these are from Luna Collection and I also have a couple of frames here. Also here are some chipboard elements that I've painted and added embossing on them. These are left over from my last project. And lastly here I've got some cords and uh, ribbons. In this bin, I have wooden beads with letters in them. I am planning to um, make sort of a tie or a strap out of them. That's why I will need the cords and it will be tying the photo uh, flaps together uh, so they don't move. If it doesn't make sense now, you will see what I meant when we actually make it. And here I've got some pom-poms uh, in case I need to raise any elements. And lastly, and most importantly here, I have my album. I've already started playing things out, that's why you see some lines here. Again, this is a memory hardware magnetic journaling album by Prima Marketing. And uh, let's just talk about the cover really quick here. Um, so I am planning to make a big bottle, kind of like a potion bottle with a shaker inside. I want to cast the bottle. Uh, out of uh, craft clay and unfortunately I do not have one that I can show you right now but it will most likely be a simple one that I can find at the local craft store and I do not have a bottle mold either but I'm planning to make one and I will show you the process later in the tutorial as well um, so let's quickly open up the album and look uh, how it looks like inside. I already cut out a bunch of cards that will go on these flaps here and I accidentally ripped out a piece here in the left side but it's fine because um, it will get covered up with the scrapbook paper anyway. Um, that is all that I have prepped so far. Again, um, I will not need everything that I have showed today and I may also add a few things during the process. If I do, I will mention that in the upcoming videos. Um, thank you very much for watching and uh, stay tuned for 
the rest of the tutorial.